On the packaging of food products, you can see lots of information. Product name, sell by and use by dates, ingredients list, nutrition information, and cooking and storage instructions. Some of this information is required by law. Recently, food manufacturers and supermarkets have started to include easy to understand information on product labels to help consumers identify healthy food. Have you seen the traffic light colour coded labels? The red, amber and green colour coding provides simple advice on foods that have high, medium and low amounts of fat, saturated fats, sugars and salt. Nutritionists say if we want to eat a healthy diet, we should cut down on fat, especially saturated fat, added sugars and salt. With traffic light colours, you can see if the food has high, medium or low amounts of each of these nutrients in 100 grams of the food. Red equals high, amber equals medium, green equals low. You will also see the number of grams of fat, saturated fat, salt and sugar in what the manufacturer or supermarket suggests as a serving of the food. If you see a red light, you know the food is high in something we should try to cut down on. Amber means the food isn't high or low in the nutrient, so this is okay to eat most of the time. But you might want to go for green for that nutrient some of the time. A green light means the food is low in that nutrient. Many of the foods with traffic light colours will have a mixture of red, amber and greens. So if you want to make the healthier choice, go for more greens and ambers and fewer reds. Another system used by some manufacturers and supermarkets is based on percentages of guideline daily amounts, GDAs, of fat, sugar and salt. For example, a portion contains 25% of your GDA of fat. GDAs help consumers interpret the nutrients in products compared with the recommended levels for a healthy diet. GDAs are not designed to be used as targets, but give an idea of the upper limit for calorie, fat, salt and sugar intake in a typical healthy diet for adults. The traffic light and guideline daily amount schemes aim to help you understand how food products fit into your diet and to make healthier food choices.